I just bought the almond cow and I'm gonna test it and see if it's worth its price point of over $200. It makes homemade milk out of almonds, cashews, or any other nuts. And I'll be testing both of those to see if they're better and cheaper than store-bought milk. It can also make creamer and what they call pulp meal. And I'll be testing both of those too. For recipe number one, I'm gonna make their almond milk recipe. So step number one is to open it up just like this. You pull off the lid and then you fill the inside of this with water to the min max line that's inside of there, about five cups of water. Let's get this filled up. And then step number two, you take off this bottom piece right here and fill it up with your nuts. I'm going in with about a cup of almonds here. And then the blender goes right back into the nuts here. And then the recipe calls for one to two tablespoons of maple syrup, which you just pour into the water here. So I'm gonna go with about two tablespoons of that. I do like my almond milk a bit sweeter than normal. And then one teaspoon of vanilla also. Gotta have that vanilla almond milk. Unflavored is definitely not as good. And then lastly, about a quarter teaspoon of salt into there. And then it's all set. We just put this back into its base right here, plug it all in and push the button on the top here. And in 60 seconds, we'll have almond milk. So here we go. It's now been one minute. Let's get this opened up and check out our almond milk. You just pull off the top and it drips a little bit into there. You can already see how frothed up that milk is. We can just put it into here so it doesn't drip everywhere. And then there's our almond milk. Let's get it poured into a jug so we can see it better. And look at that guys, in 60 seconds, we have this perfect jug of almond milk. Isn't that insane? So overall, this recipe made about a third of a gallon of almond milk and it costs maybe about a dollar in almonds and maybe 50 cents max in other ingredients. And at the grocery store, this half gallon, so a little bit more, costs about $4, so about four times the price point. But most importantly, which one tastes better? Let's get a cup of each poured. So you can see there's a significant color difference for sure. The homemade one is definitely dark and more almond looking than the one bought from the grocery store. But let's taste them starting with the grocery store and the comparison. So I'm gonna be honest, I kind of like the grocery store one a little bit more. I think it might be the coldness difference here. This one's ice cold. This one's kind of like close to room temperature. So I'm gonna try adding an ice cube to this and giving it another shot. Now that our homemade one is nice and cold, let's try it once more. So there's a pretty significant difference in the taste. This one tastes more like your standard milk. This one, you really get more of like an almond flavor. They're almost like two different drinks and it's a little bit difficult to compare. I think if I wanted to drink a lot of something, I would still go with the store-bought one, but this one's really good and probably even healthier than the store-bought one. You can see with the store-bought one, you've got a dozen different ingredients that honestly I can't even pronounce. So that's probably the big difference here. Now I will say the other cool thing about this is that it does make that pulp meal that I was talking about so inside of the container where you put the almonds if you go ahead and twist it off you get this pulp inside of there from all those almonds and that definitely doesn't have to go to waste you can take all of this and put it in a bowl and make pulp meal which I will be testing later with some blueberries and maple syrup for recipe number two we're trying their cocoa cash which is coconut flakes and cashew once again we just start with water and this gets two-thirds filled with our cashew this time so two-thirds of a cup and then the other one-third of the cup gets filled with coconut flakes inside of there too. And then I added our maple syrup, vanilla, and salt back into here. And same steps as before, this just goes back onto this, right through there. Oop, you gotta make sure it clicks into place though. And then this clicks back onto here. And once again, I'll be back in 60 seconds. And we've got our blue light on this, which means we are all set to take this out. Let's check on that coconut milk and get this into here so it doesn't spill. And this one looks much more kind of frothed up at the top to me. Well, let's get this poured into our jar also. And time for the taste test. It's significantly different than the almond milk right off the bat, which isn't too surprising considering almonds and cashews are pretty different nuts here, but this one is much sweeter. It's a much nuttier flavor and it's much creamier flavor as well. The coconut doesn't come through too much. I think I get a slight hint of it, but I think it just adds to the overall creaminess and nuttiness of the whole drink itself. Once again, it's hard to compare to the store-bought one, which tastes mostly like milk with a hint of almonds. This one is mostly like cashews with a hint of milk. So to me, 
they're two entirely different drinks. And our final liquid recipe is going to be creamer, which is basically made with just half as much water. So I've got 500 milliliters right here that we're gonna start with. And this just goes right into the base of this. And then aside from the water, I'm gonna go in with the exact same recipe as our cocoa cash again. So I've already got my cashews and coconuts into here. And then I've already got my maple syrup, salt, and vanilla into there also. And it just closes up and starts the exact same way as the regular almond milk. So here we go. And once again, we're ready. So let's test out the creamer, which can of course be used in your coffee, your tea. If you just want something more concentrated, you could use it for that. And here's the result of this one. Let's get that poured into a cup. Even though it is creamer, I'm gonna do a taste test to compare between the regular milk and the creamer here. So here you go, let's test this creamer out. As weird as it may be to drink just straight up creamer, this is way better than the others, probably because the maple syrup is much more concentrated in this, the salt is much more concentrated, the vanilla is much more concentrated, and the overall flavor of the nuts comes through way stronger in this one. It's sweeter, nuttier, just overall better. And last up, we're back at that pulp meal, which I'm both a little bit excited for and definitely a little bit nervous. I'm gonna top this with some blueberries, which they recommend. So let's get some of those on top. And then a little bit of maple syrup too. Kind of like you're having oatmeal with that pulp that was created. And let's get a nice bite of that. Here we go. So overall for me, this isn't really it. The texture is kind of weird. It's like a really grainy oatmeal. The flavor is actually not bad at all. I mean, the blueberries and the maple syrup are shining most of the almond pulp out of this, but I'm just not a huge fan of the texture itself. Now I will say you can take that pulp and also freeze it into like ice cubes for smoothies, to make butter out of, all those sorts of things, and maybe those would be better, but as oatmeal, I'm not the biggest fan. So overall, would I recommend this product? Honestly, if you drink a lot of almond milk, this is gonna make up for its price point pretty quickly because you can make cheap almond milk, and also there are dozens and hundreds of other recipes on the internet, so you can figure out what you like best out of different ingredients, different types of nuts, play around with this and make all sorts of fun things. So if you're an almond milk drinker or a nut drink milker in general, I do think this is a great product and that you'll love it. For me, this is gonna sit next to another kitchen product I've already tested, the Ninja Thirsty. And if you're curious about learning about that one and it's carbonated drinks it can make, click right here.